Tong Shui Men Hao, Mr. T here again. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make some vocabulary lists using Quizlet. How to import terms from a uh, text file, or if you have the Chinese terms are already typed out somewhere on your computer. So, first thing you do is go to Quizlet. Here's the main page. If you have an account, all your uh, lists are going to show up. I have a lot. Then first, then you go to create a set. You go to the screen. Give it a title. For example, I'm going to just put week two vocabulary. Now look here. Make it easy for yourself. You can import the data. If not, you can enter in the terms one by one. You can do Chinese on this column and English on this column and pinyin on this column. Too slow, so let's do a fast way. So let's go to import data. Let's, uh, let's copy and paste the list here. So we got to find the list first. I happen to have it here. So highlight the text. Control C, copy. Go back. Paste it. What you just copied right here. Now, if you look down here, live import preview, ideally you want the terms, the Chinese, to be on the left column and the pinyin and English to be on the right column under definition. So if you look here, between term and definition, what is separating it? You, you can set this. For me, you can see here it's basically spaces separating. I have one space between, you see here, weather and tian qi, right? So let's, let's do custom because we're not going to do one tab. We're not going to do a comma. We're not doing new line, semicolon, whatever. We're doing custom. So in the custom, it has like this hyphen. Let's get rid of it. You want a space. Okay. So what you, how do you do a space? Just press the space bar. Okay, that didn't work. Well, then just uh, choose column then, and it should. You see in, under the preview, it's green. It means wow, there's two things. There's one thing in the left column, one thing in the right, and that's what you want. It's close enough. You can adjust this later. Let's Im import. Once you press the import button, it goes down here. You can see your list. To, it just appears automatically. Okay, let's fix this up. Let's put weather, the English. You don't want it over there. You want to put in this side. Just stick it in here. Choose language. Which language are you using? Chinese traditional. All right. Now, this is the tricky part. You should actually choose English for this column because mainly it is English. And... Um, Pinyin, you, you don't really need it to read it out, so let's just choose English. Now, note, what the, what the program is going to do is, if you choose the English this side and you have a mixture of English and Pinyin, you can see here Tian Qi, we have Tian Qi. You don't want the English voice to read out Tian Qi because it will not say Tian Qi, it will say something really strange because it has this tone it's basically reading it as if an English person would read it in English. So you don't want the pinyin. So how do you show the pinyin without actually getting the computer to read it? Put it in brackets like this. So you can do this for each of the pinyin. Okay, I'm not going to do all of it. Don't have time. Save. And here's your list. So what can you do? What can you do with this? Basically, like the other videos you've seen, you can play the audio. So it, if you press this button, it's gonna read TNT right here, and then and it's gonna read weather in English. Okay. Interesting list, not really useful by itself. So you can go to flashcards, then convert to the flashcard form, and 
watch my previous video about how to actually use the flashcards. So great way to study. And you can look up here, there's other stuff that you can explore. But basically this is how you make a list in Quizlet. Thank you.